Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena, give me just a couple of seconds to shuffle all the cards and then we'll start. And we are ready guys, so the oracle cards first, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, as a block, restraint, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, a fiery climax approaches, the end of a tough cycle approaches, reflection, freedom, soul, fourth chakra, and then the tarot, the overall energies for you, the tower, two of cups, the strength card and the star. If you are single, you can face the lovers, judgment, nine of wands, hanged men. If you are in a relationship, you can face six of pentacles, the hierophant, three of cups, queen of swords, our focus, five of swords. Guys, for me, it's an ego-driven energy. It's like dealing with someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so, when in reality, it doesn't really matter. And if the situation prolongs itself for way too much time, the people surrounding the man in green and red can decide that the wisest decision to make is the one to release the figure with the three swords, the bearer of the three of swords energy, because the situation is way too problematic. The clouded sky, there can be shenanigans involved, guys. And this is meaningful in the relationship scenario. So I'll be honest with you, it can be extremely difficult to save this connection because there was a one man up, one man down dynamic at play. Maybe it is still ongoing uh, for some of you, unfortunately. It's a third party situation because of the three of cups, major tower moment for some of you because either you have found out what was, what is going on, or you can find out. And all of a sudden you can decide to hold back this strength card because you can realize that there is, uh, there is no more love. There is no more two of cups energy in favor of a connection with this person. For some of you, this can even be a marriage, the Hierophant. And so there is going to be a conversation following the Queen of Swords, but it is not going to be a pleasant conversation, guys, unfortunately. Some of you will have to face like a crossroads at the end of the day, because for me, the tower can be the path to the star, but maybe you have thought that this connection was a positive one. And the disappointment due to the fact that your partner betrayed you guys can be something that cannot be repaired. So a fiery climax approaches, yes, there is going to be a major uh, set of altercations, I would say, and the end of a tough cycle approaches as well, because when the tower moment manifests itself, everything is going to escalate quickly. So your partner can try to explain themselves, but can they truly explain what they did or what they have been doing, it seems difficult. Trust can be compromised. We know that it's a factor in the strength card because the lady can tame the lion, can tame the beast, because by displaying her true colors, she can establish a bond built on trust. And the trust is also a virtue that we can associate to the star card which is about vulnerability and transparency. So if we cannot trust a partner anymore, how can it be possible for us to think about a future together? Freedom, fourth chakra soul. I love the combination of energies, guys, because it's a matter of heart and soul for some of you. Even the decision to leave this person behind. Reflection. It's a consequence. Your decision is going to be merely a consequence of the actions of your partner. They took advantage of you. Now they can pay a price for that. The price can be represented by the tower moment because this connection can fall apart and then it can fade away. 
a little bit harsh, guys, but we are going to find out a little bit more also uh, about these energies. For others of you currently single, if we follow the judgment, guys, there can be someone from the past that can reach out. Someone that can feel guilty, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Someone that can also be smart enough to understand that the opportunity to interact with you, once again, can be a hanged man type of situation. Something that can be uncomfortable, not exactly easy to handle if we think about, for example, a conversation with an ex. The tower uh, that you got can be something that happened in the past, if we think about a breakup, a separation, but it can also be a surprise for some of you because the fact that this person can reach out can be something unexpected. Two of Cups, I want to say that some of you sincerely loved this person in the past, but if it is possible to love this individual once again, well, this can be a whole different ball game. And this strand card can work as a defense mechanism because some of you can be extremely cautious. Maybe you do not entirely trust this person because what if the situation went through a five of swords type of moment, you know, maybe, you know, a difficult breakup there was anger, there was resentment, you know? Some of you are looking for a star connection. You know what it takes to build a romantic partnership the right way. My question to you is, if you are free, do you think that this person coming back from the past can be a fair companion for you? A fiery climax approaches, we are going to talk. But we have to understand if something positive can come out of a conversation. Maybe a cup of coffee. And then we can see what comes up. The end of a tough cycle approaches. What if the tough cycle is the one represented by the Five of Swords and so a situation that some of you already left behind? Is it wise for you to welcome this person back in your life? They can say that the connection for them is a lover's connection, but you know, guys, there is a history and maybe it wouldn't be wise to forget what the two of you already shared in the past. So let's find out a little bit more. For you, I want to see this strand card. Relationship scenario, I want to see the Queen of Swords. Single scenario, I want to see the judgment. So, strength card, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, well, boy, major energies, especially in the relationship scenario. What about the Queen of Swords? Here we go. Five of Swords. Guys, the problem. Two of Swords. Queen of Cups. So, let's complete the relationship scenario and then we are going to flip to the single one. Guys, major conversation coming up. Your partner can think that they have the upper hand over you guys because of the Five of Swords. To them, I would say, do not be so sure because chances are that the tower moment can manifest at the 100%. The queen of wands that you got, guys, can be about two things. One, the third person, because we are basically looking at an affair, a betrayal, out of lust, out of pleasure, physical pleasure. Then the second point about the Queen of Wands should be a matter of a healthy self-confidence in your own favor. So you have to remember your worth. This can be your spouse, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Hierophant. But if there is a betrayal involved in the situation, 
you have to take a good look at the connection and you have to take into consideration in your evaluation even a potential tendency following the addiction oracle card when it comes to distractions maybe your partner can fall for those type of situations and this can be a problem maybe also some of you already forgiven your partner in the past now there can be the chance to face once again the same problem if the tower was shaking this time it can fall apart so two of swords a choice for your partner they already made a choice when they pursued the third party situation now they can try to convince you guys that they are still in love with you because they get the queen of cups but this is an energy about intentions for me and this is an encouragement for you because you have to evaluate the intentions of your partner so once again i ask you can you trust your partner considering that they have already displayed behaviors that are not absolutely in favor of the opportunity to grant trust um, in their favor once again this is a problem guys because the four of wands is a vision and so it can be strengthened by the two of cups energy but in this case your partner looked for troubles they found them now they can think that they can get away with it like nothing happened this is um presumptuous you know an egotistical way of thinking and so this person is fighting against the odds there can be a lot at stake for some of you guys but you will have to make a choice from the heart fourth chakra if you ask me the end of a tough cycle approaches after a major conversation yes but not a pleasant one a fiery climax approaches freedom freedom seems to be the outcome and then you will have the opportunity to find your own star elsewhere but first you may have to power through the tower because basically your partner stabbed you guys in the back let's go for the judgment in the single scenario guys for those of you that can resonate this blast from the past unexpected news coming from someone that you know well i would say here we go ten of swords it was over it was over big time guys the hierophant some of you maybe were married to this person six of swords quiet situation uh, between the two of you so no contact extremely quiet energy indeed the six of swords nine of wands once again the wounded warrior it can be meaningful in the two scenarios guys but uh, this person allow me to make a quick point in the relationship scenario this person can play the victim your partner can play the victim in order to convince you guys to give them the benefit of the doubt i wouldn't say that you can fall for that mind game which is a factor in the five of swords in the single scenario this person can be disappointed because of how things ended between the two of you ten of swords it was a major ending a major disappointment indeed it can be difficult to bounce back from that type of turning point guys uh, if you are not married this person can reach out in an unexpected way kind of because they want to bring up the opportunity for the two of you to try again in order to go the distance together this person can even bring up the topic about marriage so you can hold back because of this trend card guys the past is playing a role the tower and so this should not be overlooked ten of pentacles four of wands it can be what you are looking for and to you i would say if you have already gone through a connection with this person and it didn't work what can make you think that now things can be different in order to be successful in a ten of pentacles four of wands way 
Once again, guys, maybe you loved this person, yes, but the situation didn't pan out. So, is it a wish for you to try again with this person? Can you say that this person can be a star partner for you? This is the question that some of you will have to basically answer, you know? This person can say that it's possible for the two of you to row the boat forward together. Even some of you can manifest the Nine of Wands energy, so there can be a lot of caution coming from you guys. I would say that you can grant in favor of this person a cup of coffee, but freedom, once again, you are free and there can be a percentage of risk if you agree to try again with this person. Because maybe they can even say, guys, that the connection that you shared was amazing if we think about the sexual side, Queen of Wands, lovers. Is it enough to reignite a romantic partnership? This is another important consideration, maybe. If you ask me, guys, this person is trying to climb the Mount Everest. The odds are against them. The tower has already fallen apart. And some of you can find your star, yes, moving forward, but without this person. It seems, even in this case, it's a call from the heart. You know? So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.